Well, with this week's vlog, not only have we got him and me for 48 hours on the park lake talking about all things carp and all things spring fishing, hopefully we're going to try and catch one. But we'll be looking at the awesome Summit low profile pops. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a little review on it, show you how it works, everything to do with that. Plus, everyone's favourite, we got Biscuit of the Week. So, without further ado, roll that intro. First time you've come across my channel and you like these type of videos, it may be worth you hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification icon and you'll never miss another video again. Right, well, we've just spent three hours walking around. We even had a breakfast, a sneaky breakfast, because we haven't been out to see any fish. Walked all the way around the lake, had a good look, not seen a dicky bird, not one fish show. He's in that good look. He's in the old anookie mat. He's had enough. So we've come in here because we're going to be on the back of the wind. That wind's a little bit cold. It's not as warm as it has been. It's been 30 degrees last week. This week, no. 13, 14, 15 degrees and single figures at night we're going to get. So I thought, well, we'll come on the back of the wind. See what happens there. No one's seen nothing. I've spoken to everyone. A couple of fish out a couple of days ago. But apart from that, no one's seen the bloody thing. Nothing. Dead as a dodo. Typical, isn't it? typical we're struggling to get a bite got the curse of the new rods and when we turn up nothing's happening but that's fishing you can only go when you can go can't you right i'm gonna get set up i'm gonna sort him out get him in the bag and um talk to you in a minute see you soon Join me, we've had a lovely afternoon, copious cups of tea, pork chops in there, look. He's in there enjoying himself, having a rest. He have not seen nothing, but doesn't surprise me. It's absolutely lovely out there though. Wind's blowing on our back. Overcast, look at that. Cloudy, had some light rain earlier on. And we've got rain coming tonight. Pressure's dropping, but so's the temperature a little bit. Wouldn't surprise me if in the morning, tomorrow, we see one or get a bite. Just feels feels good. But that, it's felt good before many a time and I've been blanking, haven't I? So it's, uh, it don't mean nothing at the moment with the kiss. Kiss of the bad rods, isn't it? Jinxed, don't we? Oh, he's out. He's about, look. Oh, it's about. Oh, he's got a bone in his mouth and he's looking for something to ride it so no one else can have it. No one else wants his bone. He thinks they do. So, we are going to enjoy the evening, keep watching, listen to a bit of the radio, have an early night, because we'll be up early, about half five. Watch the sun come up. And, phew, fingers crossed, we catch one. Tomorrow, we shall be looking at the low profile pod and trying to catch one again. We may even move. If we see them, tell you what, I'm that eager to get a bite. If I see one anywhere tomorrow morning or in the dark, be keeping an eye on it uh, first thing in the morning, I'm packing up. Him and me will be on our merry travels to whatever swim is nearest to where the fish are showing, if it's available, of course, because we are desperate for one. It's spring, the fish have been coming out on the alien lake and this lake last couple of weeks and we haven't managed to get amongst them yet but we will do because we just got to keep on keeping on and it will happen it will happen right I'm going to settle in for the evening and watch listen 
and hopefully get one and put it in the net. just coming up it's about quarter past five in the morning quiet night nothing new there then but I'm sure I heard one in the night couldn't tell you where it was but I'm sure I heard one plenty of uh, ducks out there oh, I don't think you can see them out that way and they'll pull chops up this morning, look. They'll pull chop. He's about this morning. Having a look about on guard duty, isn't he? Yeah, sure heard one last night, but I couldn't tell you where. At least one's around somewhere. You see that sun shine on my face. I mean, it's, it's not even up yet. So when I turn it round, sun's coming up over there but you can't see it because um, it's about 20 minutes before it's actually going to come up flat calm out there this morning look so you can see if anything moves at all you'll see it but I haven't seen anything at all but then again I've only just woken up so Tozy, he's only just woken up. Look, he's on a little bit of a jaunt, jaunt. But we're going to watch this morning because we're going to have a move if we see one or see some fish somewhere. We should have a move a bit later on, that's for certain. We've got to get on them. We're desperate to get on them, me and him. Me and Barney, the carp dog, desperate to get on them. So that's why I'm talking to you and I'm looking at the same time. So in mind, you see just one somewhere. And that might be the only clue we have all bloody morning. Well, I'm going to share the sunrise with you in a minute. Hopefully a bit of... a bit of a time lapse. But... I'm going to keep watching. I'm going to get that bloody kettle on. Enjoy the uh, sunrise. Let's see if we can see anything. Catch you soon. morning that was beautiful sunrise it looks absolutely gorgeous this morning I've been looking out there and I've seen one fish and that was long past the island you know he's about look he's up and about as soon as he hears me talking he's out isn't he come here get in get in or he disappear yes we had a beautiful morning the sun's sort of coming out it's still cold that wind's really picked up a little bit of rain and it's cold and he wants some of the biscuits look he wants some of the biscuit in a week but he's not getting them he's not getting them at all because as someone's pointed out to me thank you very much chocolate is harmful to dogs so he won't be getting any more biscuits of the week he's got his own food now right yeah we see that one fish out there really long about 200 yards from me and about 120 yards from the guys over there who actually had a couple last night so they said to be in that area. We're sort of near as we can get, but we haven't seen anything down apart from that fish. So it's been very, very quiet, which leads me on to something which I know you've all been waiting for, and the only reason you tune in, and that's Biscuit of the Week. Look, he's waiting for Biscuit of the Week at all, but he ain't getting none this time, I tell you. Right. Now, thank you to whoever suggested this. There's a few, look look at him, look. Look at him trying to get up for biscuit. No biscuit for you, boy, get in there. He thinks he's gonna get one, not anymore. Right, so thank you 
for whoever suggested these, right? As you can see, there's only a couple left. <laughs> so I've been munching them, I've had a nice cup of tea, I've been sitting there munching them since I got home yesterday and I thought, well I better do biscuit of the week soon, otherwise there's gonna be none left. These are McVissey's Digestives Classic Caramel. Now these are the daddy, I'm telling you. Right, look at these, right? Now, they've got a digestive biscuit underneath, a layer of caramel, and a layer of chocolate on top. So when you bite into them, right, He's at my feet now, clawing away. You can't see it, but he's clawing away. So, that's the biscuit. Look at that. That is something else, that is, I'll tell you. When you bite into it, you both get stuck in it because of the layer of caramel. I'll tell you what, it's very, very Moorish. Hence why there's only two left now. These are the daddies. Digestives. McVitie's Digestives Classic Caramel, I'll read it out to you. Milk chocolate digestives with a layer of caramel. So thank you very much to whoever suggested those. They are on the hit list. I've put on about another two stone because there ain't a lot left. But they're gorgeous with a cup of tea as well. This morning I woke up and I had about four of them straight away. And eat, look. You ain't getting them because there's chocolate in it. Can't have them, boy. So, that's a four star rating because they are absolutely Moorish and there's only two left now. So, thank you very much for sending your comments in. Put down in the comments below what you'd like me to feature on Biscuit Away. What you like? What's your favourite biscuit? So, so we can do one every single week now. There you go. So there is a Biscuit of the Week. It's still, it's still waiting, you ain't getting nothing. As I said at the beginning of the video, we should be looking at the Summit Low Profile Pod. So I know a lot of you guys have been wanting a, a bit of review on it. So stay tuned to later on, later on this afternoon, I shall be giving you the lowdown on that, about how it gets, you put it together, etc, etc. In the meantime, I'm gonna finish off. <laughs> I'm gonna cane these until there's none left. And, um, well, sitting around at the moment, I'm not going to reel in, I'm going to leave the rods out. The rods are out there. They went down all yesterday, all three donks, lovely. There's some bait out there as well, so I can't see the point of reeling them in and recasting for the last night. Uh, unless, of course, we see them, and then I'll move, or I'll see them in a different area of the swim, and I'll be recasting them. But at the moment, they are staying where they are. Look, he's on patrol now. He's given up with Biscuit of the Week. He's looking for something else, looking for a rat or a squirrel or something else or another dog. So that's where we're at, not a lot happening I'm afraid, no fishes, it's um, pretty dire and it has been for a couple of months now isn't it, but we've just got to keep on keeping on and I'm sure when it does happen I'm going to be jumping around the swim like a little bloody pony. Right, I'm going to get back to my cup of tea and my two digestive caramels and speak to you soon. Well welcome back. We've got a little interlude in the rain, and it's going to start raining in the next hour. Oh look, he's awake, look, look. Same old, same old, isn't it? So yeah, it's, it's getting up windy, blowing down at end, and it's cold, it's going to be cold tonight. Would you believe it? It's meant to be the spring, and it's bloody freezing cold. It's not good, is it? Okay. So, I thought we'd have a little before. Yeah, before I had my dinner and me settling for the night and everything else, I thought we'd have a little talk, as promised, begin the video, a little talk about the Summit Low Profile Pod. Now, I've made it known in previous videos and in my live streams and that, that I'm not a pod person. I don't, as a rule, like the uh, pods. I just don't like them all high and... and long legs on them, unless I'm fishing in France or somewhere where you know I need to get over things and my rods are right up high and all that and everything else. I don't tend to like pods. I've never really used a pod very occasionally in those situations. I'd much prefer to fish single bank sticks or a three rod setup, you know, with three rod buzz bars or single sticks. So when I saw the summit low profile pod at the when I was working on the summit tackle stand I said oh, look we got a new product coming out the low profile pod I thought okay yeah I'll have a look at it I'm not really the pod type person but then it was all it's all compact all 
tight together, all low. And I thought, yeah, I like this. I'm going to give this a go. So I managed to get older one. And I've been using it ever since. And you've seen it in most of my videos for about the last six months. We've been using the low profile pod. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking, can you do a review on it? Can you tell us a bit about it and all that? So this is what we're going to do. Right. Here he is. He's in the way. He's not in the way, bless him. He's just doing his thing, isn't he? He's just doing the carp dog thing. So, <laughs> right. So, it comes in, what you get, right? I'll tell you what you get for your dollar, right? So, the standard Coliseum stainless low profile pod comes in either two rod fixed buzz bars, three rod fixed buzz bars or three rod mini fixed buzz bars and it comes in the Colosseum stainless and it comes in the cobalt black so it comes in the two variations and the three different fixed sizes look you don't really wonder bless him oh yeah come and join us why not Coming in, in you come. No, he's not taking that look, not taking no notice. Don't care. Don't care. So, right, yeah, back to the pot. So it comes in two, it comes in stainless, and it comes in the cobalt black stainless. Three different fixed buzz bars, but you can use the adjustables in there. You can, it's not on the website, I don't believe, the adjustables, but you can use the three rod adjustable buzz bars with it as well. So if you've already got a three rod set up, you just need to buy the kit, the low profile kit. Now, price wise, you've got the two rod fixed setup is 247, the three rod fixed and three rod standard setup is 249. Um, I'm not sure of the cobalt black, I think that's about 280, 284 for the same setup but in the cobalt black stainless, hardened stainless. So, what do you get for your dollar? What do you get for your money? So you get your set of thick buzz bars. Well, first of all, you get your pod bag. What's in the pod bag? You have your, your base, your pod base. It's the same pod base as their normal pods that they sell, the normal Colosseum pods. So it's very adaptable. You can put long legs on it, or you know, I'll explain that in a minute anyway. But what do you get? You get your pod bag. Nice bag, nice EVA handle grip, everything slots in its place, and you get your your base your pod base then you get uprights get your standard upright which goes on the back and you get your mini upright which goes on the front although you can move them around if you want your rod up in the air or you want your rod tips down it depends on the topography of the swim you're fishing like here for instance it's very uneven it's very uneven but I want my rod tips in the water. So I've got the standard longer ones on the back and the mini ones on the front. And my rods are in the water. But if I was fishing a bank which was at an angle or I wanted to have my rods up so I'm fishing over weed or some obstacle in the water or something like that, I want my lines out of the water, I would fish with the long ones, the, back, the standard long ones at the front and the mini ones at the back so the rod's up in the air. So you get a set of those. You get short, mini ones at the front, long ones at the back, you get a set of those. Obviously you get your fixed buzz bars. The two rod fixed is seven, eight, seven inches and eight inches. The three rod mini is seven inches and eight inches. And the three rod fixed is 11 inches and 12 inches. Now the reason they've done two lots of three rod is, like myself, I use SS3000s or Dow T5000Ts and they're a smaller reel, they're not your massive big pit reels. So the mini buzz bars, three rod, they all sit together lovely and low and right together. And that's how I like it, I want it all compact. I want it all together, I want it all compact. If you've got your big reels, like your, your big pit reels, then unless you want your, your reels touching each other and up in the air, you use the standard, which is the 11 inch at the back, 12 inch at the front so it gives you lots of room you know to get those on so it sits all nicely and sexy 
me because I use the SS3000s, <coughs> I want a more compact and low. So I have got the three rod mini fixed, which is seven inch at the back, eight inch at the front. That depends on what reels you've got, what setup you want. Also, you get four mini pod points. Now these screw onto the front and the back of the base pod. And also, you get an easy tight key. Now, that is so you can tighten up your nuts on your pod, so they're tight. So you know what it's like, or undo them. So if it's raining, it's wet in the winter, you have to mess about with a bloody fingers getting cold and things like that. But with the easy tight key, what it says, it's easy. Easy tight, easy untight. It just makes it so much easier, and it's a godsend, those this little keys. Even if you've got single sticks, it's a godsend for it. So that's what you get in your kit. Now it's very adaptable. Say you want to fish the rods really up high, all you need to do is use four legs that you can get, like nine inch legs or 10 inch, 12 inch, or whatever you've, whatever you've got, you can put those on. Now if you see there, well look, you can see him, but if you see there, it's quite uneven, and you've only got the little pod points on either end to keep it nice and low. Now, it, it, when you set it up, it'll be a little bit uneven like that. All I do is I press those pod points in, where they need to go so it keeps it all level. So you've got a little bit of adjustment and also those uprights, front and back, you've got a 60 mil adjustment. So they can go up, 60 mil, the front or the back. So you still, you have got a bit of adjustment. But if you want mega adjustment where you put your rods up and down, then you need to put on some bigger legs with the twist lock or whatever single bank sticks you've got. So it produces a good base. There's lots of accessories you can use for it that screw in that you can put on there to adapt it and make it very versatile to the situation you're fishing. So all you do is when you get you get your base layer, you screw in your four uprights, your two minis at the front, your two longer ones, standard ones at the back, then you put your fixed buzz bars, whatever it is, two rod, three rod, three rod mini, whatever setup you've got. Put your buzzer on the front, obviously, and your back rod rests at the back. Then you put your rods on, and there you go. That's it. You're done. Tighten it up with the easy tight key. Happy days. It's all good in the world. So that's basically it. I mean, it's very, very stable. First of all, I thought, oh, it's not very stable. But where it's so low, and it's made from a very high-grade stainless steel, it's engineered in the UK. And what most people don't realise is Summit, while it's only been going three years, it's quite a new kid on the block. It's actually been making fishing tackle and stainless items for a lot of the big companies for many years, over the last 30 years. So, it, you know, it's got a pedigree. It's an engineering company. So it, it makes stuff for the military, for uh, medical, for loads of different industries. So they've got that knowledge there of how to put things together right and how they work. And that's basically all that knowledge has gone into this pod and all their products. So I just get out of the dark there, in a bit of the light. He's having a woof up somewhere. Don't even know where he's gone now, he's disappeared. Let's try and find him, shall we? Here he is, look. Here's the old pork chop, having a little wander around. So that, in essence, is it. I mean, you can put it on, it, put it on anything, just adjust it slightly for the bank if it's down a little bit. And I really like it. It weighs about four kilo. Four to five kilo, I estimate roughly. What I like about it is because I move about a lot, usually, not in this session, but usually, if the fish is moving, I can just pick up the pod and look. Oh, look, it's a, I don't even see that. There's a pike there. Pike there, having attacking. Let's see if we. Let's have a look. Let's have a. Let's, let's get that. I don't think you'll be able to see it. Look, pike there attacking the roach. It followed the roach underneath my rod tips and was chasing it around. Unbelievable, isn't it? What you see, what nature does. Hopefully you got that on the camera, but I don't think we did. We'd need a Polaroid lens on it and we haven't got one on there. But he come right in, was chasing the roach around, trying to catch it underneath my rod tips. How mad's that? So yeah, so that's what you get for your money. I quite like it because it's stable. You can just pick it up. It's four or five kilos, it's not mega heavy. I just put it on my barra and I'm away. And then I'll just take it off the barra and put it down. No putting in bank sticks and things like that. So it's actually made my life a lot easier with my fishing when I'm moving about a lot. 
I'll put the links down below in the description of the video all about uh, where you can go and have a look at it basically so that's the low profile pop by summit that's the reason I use it it's very versatile I can add bits to it at a later day I can change the buzz bars on it if I'm only fishing a two rod venue it's just it's very versatile it's a nice price bracket at under 250 quid comes in a nice pop bag you get all bits with it you've got your easy tight key and it's just nice for keeping if you want your rods nice and tight together whether you're fishing big pit reels or smaller reels like I do you want it all tight and all low because I don't want that great big pod all over the place it's not it's not how I do my fishing so there you go that's a brief overview of the benefits of it what you get in the kit with it the different options you've got with it price how much it weighs and why I use it so I'll put all the links in the description as I said and you're gonna go and have a look yourself if you're if you're interested in that type of thing so what's happening with the fishing well not a bloody lot the sun's coming out then it's raining look I put my glasses on the sun's out he's happy as a sand boy he's wandering and dondering around having a sleep having to eat having a drink and he's happy as anything but we still have only seen that one fish out there this morning about as far away as you can get from me nothing was out last night as far as I went oh there might have been there might have been a fish or two out from that area where I see the fish so they're not here but we go going there last night we're going to have a nice dinner nice bit of I think I've got steak from Mrs B tonight steak and salad because we're trying to because with all these biscuits in the weeks I'm starting to put on the weight a bit more so I'm going to have to start curbing eating all the biscuits weeks. I might just get them just to show them and have a couple and then throw them in the bin don't think that's going to happen is it I think I'm going to munch them <laughs> so yeah I'd love to say there's loads of fish showing and I think I'm going to catch one but always have hope otherwise I won't be here but it's not looking too promising at the moment unless of course it's one of them trips where you don't see nothing and you just get a bite but like I always say it's nice to be out I just enjoy being out catch is not everything It'd be nice to catch one don't get me wrong but it's just nice to be out me and him me and the fluffy creature join ourselves out and with nature seeing things like that seeing like the pike chasing the hounding a little roach in the edge you know, seeing the wildlife and everything else, it's, it's more to it than just catching. Although, it would be nice to catch one, wouldn't it? So, that's where we're at. That's what's happening. We've got a couple of hours before dark o'clock. And fingers crossed, that's all I can say, fingers crossed that we catch one. I, I want to show you one on film as much as you guys messaging me going, Oh, I hope you catch one, good luck. We can only but try, can't we? It's the curse of the new rods. That's what it is. It's the curse of the new rods. So we've got to break that curse, haven't we? Maybe we should bring the old rods with us next time. We might catch one, but I, I don't think so. You don't know. You don't know with these things, do you? I think you've got to keep on keeping on, going through the motions, doing what I do, using the rigs and the bait. I no catch. I don't need to change anything. I just need to be patient, because it will happen. Like a footballer, isn't it? You go through that barren spell, and then as soon as you get that goal, you start scoring loads more. It's just the way it is. Rather late when we when we get to the lake where we're fishing, and the fish have already been out and had a little bit of a feed up this time of year, or we're a little bit early, like we was at the Alien Lake on the last vid. Right, kettle on, dinner on. Me and Pork Chop going to sit down and see if we can catch one. Well, morning. Pork chops in the in the unlooking mat. All the gear's packed away. Rods are on the dance floor. They're just lying there. Nothing at all. Haven't seen anything since I've seen that one fish over there. That was it. Very, very, very quiet. You know, just don't seem to be able to hit it right at the moment. Whatever lake I go on, we just don't seem to be able to hit hit it right. It's it's very frustrating. And I imagine you guys go through it all the time as well. You know, we all do, we all blank. But no, I never blank normally as much as this. But that's fishing, isn't it? That's fishing. He's about ready to go home. 
he's had enough and all, he's getting bored. Looks lovely, that is cold, it's gonna be cold tonight. You wouldn't think it was May, would you? May tomorrow, I think. It's, um, yeah, it's not, not the one really. All the gears on the barra. I have to push that for the walk of shame back to the van. I just hope next time we can get on the fish or they're actually feeding because I just don't think I had a chance. You know, I don't mind if I have a chance and I don't catch one, then that's down to me. But when you just, nothing seems to be going right, it's just the way it is, isn't it? But we've got to keep on keep, keep on keeping on, as they say. And it eventually will happen. I know it will happen. It's just I want it to happen sooner rather than later. Well, I hope you enjoyed the vlog, guys. Don't forget, if you like these type of videos and you want to see more of these type of videos, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon, and you never miss another video again. See you for the next vlog.